we have a yo-yo that's spinning at 4,050 revolutions per minute, and it has a radius of 1.36 inches. Now, I've drawn those two bits of information right here, and what we're going to do with those is figure out the linear speed of a point on the edge of the yo-yo. In other words, this little black point right here, how fast does it look like that's going at any instantaneous moment in time? Not circular motion, but how fast does it look like it's traveling just through the air, right? So I think you have enough formulas in your life that you have to memorize. And any chance, personally, that I can take to not memorize a formula, I, I like that. So I'm going to talk about this from the perspective of just things we know called circumference and radius, and that's it. Okay, we're not going to get into the radial velocity formulas and those things. You can logic your way through it. There's no need to memorize them. So if the radius is 1.36. My question is, what's their circumference? Well, if remember from the equation of a circle, this you really ought to know. Circumference is just 2 pi r, right? Which means 2 pi times 1.36. So let me just uh, see what that's going to be. 2 times 3.14159 times 1.36. So the circumference of this thing is going to be equal to 8.5 Let's just say 8.545 inches. Okay, that's how far around the circle is. And we're going to complete one loop around the circle, actually 4,050 loops around the circle, in a minute. So the speed is going to simply be uh, V equals 8.545 inches, right? That's, here, let's, let's put this into units. That's how many inches I make per revolution. And I'm going to do 4,050 revolutions per minute. So let's calculate what that is. We just multiply it by 4,050. Okay, so from this I get V equals 34,607.8. The revolution units cross out, and all we have left is inches per minute. Now that's velocity, and you could write that as your answer, except for one thing, uh, we want this in miles per hour. Okay, so all we have to do now is change the units from inches per minute to miles per hour, and that's, that's really very easy. Let's take what we know, which is 34,607.8 inches, and let me not use that, I'll just say inch, inches per minute, and now we have to change this using some unit conversions to not be inches per minute, but be miles per hour. Well, let's, let's talk about it this way. There's one foot per 12 inches, right? That's going to cross out these inches over here. And we also know there's one mile per 5,280 feet. So that's going to cross out the feet units. And what's going to be left... Once you do this, let's see, I'm going to divide by 12 and divide by 5,280, and now we get this. V equals 0 0.54621 miles per minute. Okay, well, miles per minute is a lot closer to what I want, but it's not, not there yet. I want miles per hour. So we're going to multiply by something else to convert the units to miles per hour. And this is going to be, I want hours on bottom, right? I want hours down here. And I want to cancel out those minutes. Well, how many minutes are there per hour? Right, we should know this one, 60 minutes per hour. Look what happens, the minutes cross out, we're gonna get something in terms of miles per hour. So that'll be, this is calling for us to multiply by 60. So we multiply by 60, and we get the following. 32.77 miles, and I'll just say MPH, right? Miles per hour. So important ideas. Can you find the circumference of a circle? Okay, that'll get you very, very far when you're talking about circular motion. Um, and then can you just handle those units conversions? This is kind of like a baby intro to physics, but we're not really, we're not really doing this the physics way yet with all the formulas.